So how do you not take no for an answer? Good question. I say a lot, never ask, never get, and that is absolutely true. But sometimes when you ask, you get a no. So how do you deal with that no and not take no for an answer? So let me give you a couple of quick examples from this week. Have a mentee who ended up having a VA in the Philippines who was inside his LinkedIn account. And for whatever reason, LinkedIn shut him off. He asked what happened. And they said, you violated our terms of conditions, blah, 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 and that uh, this decision is final, and you will get no more emails from us on the subject. Well, that's a pretty big deal, is that to have your LinkedIn account shut down. Now, as an aside, you should export your contacts. So if for some strange reason you do have your LinkedIn account shut down, you can create another LinkedIn account with a different email and upload your contacts rather than have 500, 5,000, whatever it is, contacts that are now somewhere gone. But if that happened to me, and this is what I recommended to him, did not happen to me, is that what I would do is I would contact tech support by phone, and I would get to as high up in that organization as you can and just say LinkedIn is a tool that I use a lot. I uh, have a VA which does my LinkedIn work. I don't understand what the problem is. I don't understand why my account was shut down. I was told by Jim or Mary or whoever it is that there is no explanation forthcoming and that no more emails will be answered, which just seems very different than my past interactions with respect to customer service with LinkedIn. So I would do that first. And let me give you another example. Let's say you're interviewing a bank. And oftentimes in a bank, if you're at a low level, which I would encourage you not to be, you will get someone who works a checklist. Do they have equity? Do they do this? Do they do that? And if you have already talked to, for instance, other financial institutions which will accept seller equity as your equity in the deal, and and there are banks that will do that, what I would do is when you run into a brick wall, nope, can't help you. I would end up finding out who either is the regional person or CEO uh, or chairman or however high you can go and write that person an email and said, I just wanted to let you know that we are working an acquisition program. We plan to do X acquisitions, 20, 50, 100, whatever your number is. I spoke to Mary or Jim and they indicated that they would not be interested in funding that deal through your bank. And so that's different than the answers I've gotten from some of your competitors. And this is just a courtesy email. If I was the CEO or chairman of that bank, I would want to know what were the reasons that someone in my organization passed up a lending opportunity for this many acquisitions and leave it at that, just a courtesy email. Now what's going to happen a lot of times is that CEO or chairman is going to call Mary or Jim and say, I got an email from you, and they said that you said that our bank couldn't help them with a series of acquisitions. So tell me about that. Now, Mary or Jim is pretty nervous at this point, and oftentimes what will happen is the CEO will say, before you turn down an opportunity like this again, don't turn that down without talking to me or depending upon how big the organizational structure is, something along those, those lines, some layer of management. And that's a bad day for Jim and Mary, particularly if the CEO says, I don't know why you told him that because we would be definitely interested in a stream of acquisitions like that. So frequently do that. Yes, you're going to burn the people underneath uh, to some extent, but I don't worry about that. They had their chance. Your goal is to get this done in some way. And if that means you've got to uh, piss off a bunch of people along the way, so be it. 
Okay, so hope that helps, but yes, don't take no for an answer is pretty good to follow as well as never ask, never get. So if you've got my podcast, which if you're listening to this, you uh, undoubtedly do, fine. You can go ahead and uh, go over to brucewhipple.com. If you haven't gotten the free class, grab that. We are now on TikTok, so if you could uh, share or tag in TikTok, uh, that's Bruce Whipple official. I would appreciate that. And certainly give me ideas you have on what you would like these podcasts to cover. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, it's important, as with all these things we're doing, that it's not so much what's important to me, but what's important to you. So certainly send me an email, Bruce at BruceWhipple.com, with what you'd like to see. Had a couple inquiries about group coaching. There are, I think, three spots open in group coaching. So if that has interest, go over to BruceWhipple.com, look at the group coaching and fill out the application and we'll see if we're a fit here so but uh, yes follow the advice never ask never get and don't take no for an answer